Hey everybody, I'm back with more Legend of Dragoon. Alright, load the data. Well, that's kind of weird, glitchy sound effect. But okay. Well, here we are. We are still on the boat. We're walking around. Wondering when we're going to get off the boat. Hey, look at this. Wow, it's water. Also a town. A town that looks like a bunch of skulls. Alright. Chapter 3. Okay. That claw is so cool. I want one. I mean, you gotta jump to get off of the thing, so it seems kind of inconvenient, but... There's a smell of blood around this place, but... It's not bad at all. Uh, it smells like blood and death, but it's not bad. It's been a long time. Have you been here? Um, y yeah. Well, I'm very popular, that's why. Gondol Cross Sea, first time. Verney the Water City. This port is the front door to Malaysia Sail. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that. In order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. Darn right we do. Alright, let's check out this. It's sitting next to a fishing rod. Is this used for fishing too? Yeah, man, this stuff is used for everything. What, what? What, what? Oh, that's how I get around. Oh no, I shouldn't have read the tale about fairies in the evergreen forest. When I was a child, I saw reality in fairy tales too. I think it's part of growing a process to know when story is just a story. It's a kid's story. I used to play with it. What, did you, like, donate it to these guys or something? Alright, I can't do anything else here, I don't think. Welcome to Fernie. This place is warm because of the warm currents, but if you go inland, it becomes suddenly cold. Um, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. Something is going on in the back of the village. I wonder what's going on. Alright, I'm not going to do too much exploring in here. Everything says Fernie the Water City. These are just knickknack souvenirs. Okay, that's the item shop, but I can't use it from here. Will you get out of my way? You too. Quit standing around. I'm uh, coming through. Oh, something's going on. Yeah, a whole bunch of dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. We got a crowd here. Oh, nine, and then there's me. Or the rest of us. It seems to be all of us. Now, I'll explain the strategy. We have to corner the white wolf called Kamui that lives in the evergreen forest between the village and Denigrad. Did you call us just for that? Not only that, a boy from the village, Teo, disappeared in the evergreen forest. The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the evergreen forest. I promise a five times larger price for the one of you who defeats Kamui. I promise the same for the one who saves Teo. It's gonna be me. I'm itching to do it. There's that big pixelated guy in the back, just like, moving up and down. Who are you? I've never seen you before. You look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me. Whatever you say, buddy. Are you scared out of your wits and cannot talk? Cut it out. We have to cooperate or we cannot overcome Kamui. Humph! I'll let you know when we will start. Until then, you have some free time. You are dismissed. Oh, jeez, we just get here and there's already crap. I'll buy this and that with a price. <laughs> it's just one wolf? I'll shoot it with my arrow. The prize is mine. Five times. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going in here.
It was three years ago the tale brought back an injured wolf cub. That wolf is the Kamui we were talking about. Oh! Yeah, just go down here. Go, go, go. Will you go down the stairs, please? I'll be right with you. Here is the license for the boat. The mayor gave us an order to rent the boat to warriors for free. Warriors? Well, you are the warriors who came to overcome the wolf, aren't you? No, actually. No, we are not. We are just travelers. We've just arrived from Tiberoa today. From Tiberoa? With that huge boat? Yes, it is the Queen Fury. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, seven! Could you be the famous dart and companions who conquered the sea dragon in Elisa Bay? I guess the story has traveled all the way here. Oh, and let the mayor know about this. He'll be happy to hear her. Blah, blah, blah. You got your, like, wife sitting in a boat all day? Here it is. Take the license for the boat. Yeah, I... Thank you. I have to thank you. Thanks uh, to you, we can go fishing again in Tuberilla. If you need anything, just drop by. We have accommodations, too. I'll give you a good price. Alright, cool. Then we can stay at the hotel and such. Alright, yeah, so to get around this town, we gotta use this boat. And we can't control the boat. We can just say, alright, go this way, you know. Go left. And all that mess. Talk to the weapon shop. Buy something. Okay, so I'll just, like, show what these things do. The Giganto Helm. Or Dancing Dagger. We already have that. Giganto Helm. Yeah, do it. I don't need magic attack for him. Combat shoes. Yeah, do it. Alright. Alright. Attack badge. Ooh, these are gonna be... Blue cloak. Oh, but I can have only one of these on any given person. Okay, this is gonna maybe be helpful coming up, but... Ooh, okay, you know what? Uh... Darn, you know what? I'm just gonna, like, off-screen this or something. I'm just gonna off-screen when I decide what I'm gonna do here. Oh, crap, I just realized I'm out of gold. Okay. So, move to the right. Yeah, I'm down to like 187 gold and I d just realized it. Okay, so I managed to put one of the items on Dart, the thing that raises magical and physical attack power. Couldn't afford anything else. Since I bought all those shoes for everyone. Alright, can't move to the right because that dude's blocking. Front takes, yeah, front takes me back to where I just was. So let's go to the mayor's house. Uh, I want more gold, so I can buy stuff. Are they coming yet? The heroes from Tuberoa. Alright. Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tuberoa has reached us here in Forney. It is wonderful that we did. And now I would like you to listen to my story. But please wait, I don't know what you're talking about. I would like to talk briefly about the sad situation in this village. Would you please listen to me? Okay. Why not? We're gonna have to listen eventually anyway. This is my daughter, Fa. A few, days, a few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably from the shock of the incident. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now he has even been joined by monsters from the Evergreen Forest and they attack people. I see. The warriors outside are the group heading for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. But it is more complicated than that. The wolf called Kamui has a or that attacked Fa was kept by a boy of this village until recently. And the boy who kept Kamui named Teo has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Teo disappeared from his house. Probably he feels responsible and ran away. Teo has been Fa's friend since they were little. They are best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission? Yes, of course I cannot force you. Now we, uh, now we have a lot of warriors. Maybe they are enough. Oh, sorry about this. I've made you listen to such a long story without, or uh, make you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, 
Won't you stay uh, at my house for the night? It will be an honor to entertain heroes. Well. Whoosh. Do you like Shayna? For tonight only. Thank you. I'm glad. Fa is happy too. She has been lonely since her mother passed away. Now let me see. When you're ready to stay, come back. I will prepare dinner with Fa. Okay. I'm gonna cut it here and meet you next time. See you then.